The Lockheed NF-104A was a mixed-power, high-performance, supersonic aerospace trainer that served as a low-cost astronaut training vehicle for the North American 1015 and projected Boeing X-20 Dinosaur programs. Three aircraft were modified from existing Lockheed F-104A Starfighter airframes, and served with the Aerospace Research Pilot School between 1963 and 1971, the modifications included a small supplementary rocket engine and a reaction control system for flight in the stratosphere. One of the aircraft was destroyed in an accident while being flown by Chuck Yeager. These maneuvers were commenced at 12,000 feet where the F-104 engine was throttled back to 80% power, and with the flaps, speed brakes and landing gear extended, the aircraft was established in a 30 degrees dive with a pull-out for the landing flare starting at 1,500 feet above the ground. It was realized that normal aircraft control surfaces had little or no effect in the thin air of the upper stratosphere and that any aircraft operating at extremely high altitudes would need to be equipped with a reaction control system. This aircraft achieved a maximum altitude of 83,000 feet during the test program. Pilots who flew this aircraft included Neil Armstrong, who gained valuable experience in using the RCS. Pilots complained that the instrument displays were difficult to read and were not accurate enough for the critical zoom climb profiles required to reach high altitudes. Lockheed was awarded a contract by the United States Air Force to modify three F-104A aircraft for the dedicated role of aerospace trainer in 1962. The F-104A design was already established as a lightweight, high-performance aircraft. For the ASP project, emphasis was placed on removing unnecessary equipment, fitting a rocket engine to supplement the existing jet engine, fitting an onboard RCS system and improving the instrumentation. The vertical fin and rudder were replaced by the larger area versions from the two-seat F-104 and were structurally modified to allow installation of the rocket engine. The air intakes originally designed by Ben Rich were of the same fixed geometry as the F-104A, but included extensions to the inlet cones for optimum jet engine operation at higher Mach numbers. Internal fuselage differences included provision for rocket fuel oxidizer tanks, removal of the M61 Vulcan cannon, radar equipment and unnecessary avionics. This was required, as there would be no bleed, air available from the engine after its normal and expected cutoff in the climb phase. In addition to the standard General Electric J-79 jet engine, a Rocketdyne Arkansas 2-3 rocket engine was fitted at the base of the vertical fin. This engine burned a mixture of JP-4 jet fuel and 90% hydrogen peroxide oxidizer solution. The NF-104 carried enough oxidizer for approximately 100 seconds of rocket engine operation. They used the same kind of hydrogen peroxide fuel as the main rocket engine from a dedicated 155 pounds fuel tank and were controlled by the pilot using a handle mounted in the instrument panel. The pitch, yaw thrusters were rated at 113 lbf thrust each and the roll thrusters were rated at 43 lbf thrust. The NF-104A was able to reach great altitudes through a combination of zoom climbing and use of the rocket engine. A typical mission involved a level acceleration at 35,000 feet to Mach 1.9 where the rocket engine would be ignited, and on reaching Mach 2.1 the aircraft would be pitched up to a climb angle of 50 to 70 degrees, by carefully applying a load equal to 3.5 grams. The J-79 afterburner would start to be throttled down at approximately 70,000 feet, followed shortly after by manual fuel cutoff of the main jet engine itself around 85,000 feet, to prevent fast rising engine temperatures from damaging the turbine stages of the jet engine. After continuing over the top of its ballistic arc, the NF-104 would descend back into denser air where the main engine could be restarted, using the windmill restart technique for recovery to a landing. The aircraft was damaged in flight June 1963 when a rocket oxidizer vessel exploded. The extended wingtips, RCS, metal nose cone, and other parts from 560760 were loaned to Daryl Greenemeyer for his civilian aviation record attempts using a highly modified F-104. When he was forced to eject during a record flight, his aircraft was destroyed and the parts were never returned. Although the pilot was able to land safely, the damaged aircraft was retired and this marked the end of the NF-104 project. The aircraft used for filming was a standard F-104G flying with its wingtip fuel tanks removed, but otherwise lacked any of the NF-104A's modifications, most visibly the angled-up rocket engine at the base of the vertical stabilizer. This aircraft was transferred to the National Museum of the United States Air Force. This aircraft was mounted on a pole outside the U.S.